After 10 days of mourning the Commonwealth, Canada included, showed our respects to our servant queen as she was laid to rest next to her late husband, Prince Philip, in Westminster Abbey's King George VI Memorial Chapel. Queen Elizabeth II passed away at age 96 as the longest running British monarch. Ascending to the throne in 1952 at just age 25, she stood over the end of colonization of many African and Caribbean countries, and she saw the end of hostilities, the troubles, with Irish Republicans. The Queen met and worked with 15 Prime Ministers, collegially, from both sides of the aisle. Our Queen set aside her own opinions on everything so that she could be of better service to her people. This is reflected in everything right down to her fashion choices. The bright colors she wore and the clear umbrellas that she used were simply so that her subjects could see her from anywhere they stood in a crowd. Almost all of us don't know our existence as a nation without her. This steady hand, constant through wars, illness, terror, and strife, was a nod to the tradition we seek to conserve in spite of constant societal upheaval. The queen gave her whole life to service, service of God, her family, her country, the Commonwealth, and to the world. For me, I think the Queen's attitude and sense of duty are summed up in her very first televised address, her Christmas address in 1957. I cannot lead you into battle. I do not give you laws or administer justice, but I can do something else. I can give you my heart and my devotion to these old islands and to all the peoples of our brotherhood of nations. We send journalists out worldwide to ask people what their favorite memories of the Queen are and what they liked about her best. I mean, Johnny would like it would be awful if you said no, because I don't know something else. <laughs> what was your favorite thing about the Queen? When I was growing up, I thought she was, when I was growing up, I thought the queen was beautiful. She was an amazing, amazing queen that represented her country amazingly well, and that she was great to the Commonwealth, um, where I was born in Trinidad and Tobago, was a part of the Commonwealth at one point. So I just, I, I admired her strength and the way that she led. I thought she was quite the leader, and, um, I was sorry to see she passed away, but she was 96 years old. She did a great job, as, as great as anyone in her position could have done. Um, and I suppose Charles will try to do the same, but, um, you know, he's got, a, got some big shoes to fill. Well, she was an extraordinary lady. I think she had a, an immeasurable integrity. Uh, and uh, loyalty beyond measure. I admire her tremendously. One of the best, one of the best. And it, someone who is the best, you can't do better than that, can you? I think her strength uh, during uh, the times of, you know, challenging times uh, for England, uh, during, uh, during uh, the Second World War, uh, she was very, very, uh, she displayed strength and stability during that time. I would say her work ethic. She's a hard working. She worked right till she died. She provided the country not only with community, continuity, not only the Commonwealth with continuity, but she was always, it was like she was, as other commentators have said, that she was like the, the, not just the nations, but the world's grandma. And she's been ubiquitous for everyone's life um, for you know, seven decades and it's just going to be it's just very difficult to accept that she's gone even though you know you'd expect a 96 year old is never going to live forever but it was just you know even then it, it's still quite a shock that uh, she's gone. This is her civility, her ability to um, put service and humanity together and I think uh, she's a, a definite model for future uh, sovereigns, but at the same time she respected constitutional values and the constitutional system. So I think she, um, she ranks as a person who, uh, who has actually done you know, extremely well in terms of, of uh, representing the monarchy and at the same time showing um, 
that civility and humanity can work together. I just loved her constant service to us. You know, she was a woman every day of her life for 70 years. She woke up every day for us, for, for her people, for England, for Australia, and really for the whole Commonwealth. And I think it's just such a sad day to see her go. Someone that me, only 18 years, you know, has only seen her, someone 70 years old has only seen her on the throne and to see her go is something really sad. Queen's been so inspiring for everyone and until the last day she works, so that makes people think that, you know, like uh, she's been committed to the whole nation and the world, even the work-wise and the humanity and all these things. She's been doing so many good things she has done, so we'll miss her. What personal example did she set that other people should follow? Um, I think definitely her ability to keep her life private, where she did have her public persona, but when it come, came to family and things that happened within her family, she kept that private. I uh, hope I can uh, do my duty the best of my ability, be a good citizen to my country, also uh, volunteering for organizations. Yeah. She wasn't like, you know, typical, uh, you know, image that we would see encounter in our daily lives where, you know, once one person gets successful, you know, they tend to be, you know, a show off or something like that. I think so. just her um, involvement with the community as well, representing, um, care for the community. I think she's got a strong um, way of including and acknowledging people that do the right thing in our community. Uh, leading for 70 years. Mm -hmm. That's that's unbelievable. 70 years? Mm -hmm. Really is. Well, what about you? Well, she knew how to talk to anyone and everybody. She treated everybody so well. So. She showed interest in everybody. Mm -hmm. I like that part. She's like everybody's grandma. Yeah. We all the, thought of her as, you know, a grandma. <laughs> the, the last, the last photo taken on Tuesday, just from it just reminded me of, of my nan, and it, she's just she was normal, wasn't she? Really, it's just. just an amazing woman. Yeah. She yeah. really was an amazing woman, and really, you know, we loved her, didn't we? Yeah. The nation's lost lost its grandma. Yeah. We've lost our grandma, it's like all of us have, and uh, she's going to be missed, yeah. but... I don't think this is something that I would actually usually do, but in response, it's kind of like, I feel like a duty to kind of represent my colony back home, so, yeah. OK. What, what, what did the Queen mean to you? Um, I think it was just sort of bringing in the past and taking that and putting it in a huge positive like the work that she did starting off with seven countries and then growing up I think it was like around 56 um, and sort of not hanging on to something that was bad in the past because we just can't kind of move forwards if we do that um, and yeah that's what it meant to me I think. Will our Queen's successors set aside their politics and their personal agendas to do what the Queen did to be aloof and to be apolitical, to be something and someone for everybody. I hope so, because to do otherwise would spell the end of a millennia of valued tradition. But for now, thank you, Your Majesty, for everything, and God save the King. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. To see our Rebel News coverage of the passing of our monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, please visit Royal Reports dot co dot uk